Elizabeth Taylor and Elizabeth Richard Burton. Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. are VIPs, a famous international beauty, her millionaire husband, and her boyfriend, trapped by a grounded jet flight. I very much regret that the takeoff is no longer possible, and our orders are to disembark you. Isn't there any place we can hide in this damn airport? No, Mark. We're not hiding away or sneaking anywhere. We've done enough of that in the past three months. Elizabeth Taylor, as the darling of London society, has one of the finest dramatic roles of her career. No need to see me off. But I want to. Make sure I've gone. Richard Burton is Paul Andrews, the millionaire who has everything. Everything except his wife's love. Which tender emotion is now in the keeping of a charming philanderer, played by Louis Jordan. How am I going to fix adjoining rooms for us without seeming too obvious? Your past experience should help you there, shouldn't it? She'll look after you and take you up to our special VIP lounge. How do you do, sir? VIPs, very important persons. The famous and the near famous. Each one confronted with a crisis brought about by the delayed flights. I've got to get out of this country by midnight tonight. The movie producer, uh, an unusual role for Orson Welles. Seconds. Midnight, or I lose one million dollars and his Italian movie star, played by Elsa Martinelli. I'm going to be in Mr. Buddha's next picture. Mary Stewart. Is a tragedy. Is a tragedy, eh, darling? Is a tragedy. You top amalgamated off, I buy a shilling a share. A shilling, a shilling a share. Rod Taylor, the big operator. His love-starved secretary, played by London stage star Maggie Smith. And the girl he thought he left behind, Linda Christian. My poor darling. And there's the Duchess. Wonderful, lovable, uproarious Margaret Rutherford. Would you kindly fasten your seatbelt, please? What are they going to do? Loop the loop or something? What? Tensions mount and nerves reach the breaking point as huge transatlantic jets stand idle in the fog that changes a dozen lives. Don't use that thing. Killing me won't get your wife back. Tonight, you belong to me. Oh, don't talk like Paul. Me like Paul? You belong to me. He said that too. Well, I'm not yours any more than I am his. I don't belong to anyone. I wanted to be treated as a wife, not an expensive mistress. Can't you see that? You never let me! You're not taking away! Get off! Get off! You never let me! You never let me! 